This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. What am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm ha doing my wife. My wife. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. It's getting more intense. I don't know how to turn it off. I'm kidding, I knew the whole time. A uh, woo! Sweep, it's sweeping down as well as being, um, you know, I'm a bird and I've got legs. I'm a leg bird. Hi, welcome to yet another video. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, I didn't know it was loaded. What are we doing again? What's happening? Who am I and why? Oh, that's right. As dictated by the algorithm gods. <laughs> As dictated by the last Reddit video performing well. I'm doing what I do best. Derivative ideas. Now I'm stealing from myself. Even when I do something that's relatively untouched, your boy's dipping back in. Okay? Shwoop. Splash. Straight back into the game. And the first thing we're doing, of course, is hopping into Le Classique. Am I the asshole? Now, I should make note. Last time we went on this damn thing, I was not very prepared. I did not think it through and I did not pull up any good ones in advance. And I'm sure you'll be pleased to know that in order to recreate the magic of the previous video, I kept that streak going. I didn't choose anything. I barely checked the subreddit and I'm at risk of it just being really depressing because a lot of these ones are. I had a look at r slash confessions earlier and it really, really just made me kind of sad. Am I the asshole for calling my brother an inconsiderate, insecure, pompous dick? My brother and I are not very close. <laughs> I mean, this might be why. <laughs> so that's not an excellent way of ending it. I can tolerate him if needs be, but I think he struggles in many social situations. Oh. Okay, well, that's just a criticism. I don't know, it seems not his fault entirely. Don't prejudge. I'm only gonna get embarrassed when I say like, hey, don't prejudge this guy. Hey, you're being mean to this person, to your brother, you should try harder. And then halfway through the article, it's gonna be like, so I, I think he's inconsiderate because he set fire to my house and, and threw my dog into a wood chipper. Am I, am I the asshole? My wife. 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 <laughs> My wife and I, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. We can't do this one. <laughs> well, we can keep the rest of it in the video, I guess. Censor the rest of it. Oh, see, this is what the, the stream viewers get. We cut that one early, all right? We're gonna have the funny my wife bit and then delete it. Delete all the, delete the footage. Delete my pride. <laughs> delete my wife. <laughs> no, let's not uh, talk about it. Am I the asshole for refusing to take money from my son's college fund for my stepson, even though he does not need, like, hmm? What the hell? This is like a late era Eminem. Confusing and bad. I have two friends. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't function. I have two sons from a previous marriage, Sam and Trent. Sam is real, Trent's a fake name. When Sam went to go, I don't mean to harp on it. Trent sounds like a, 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 a rare skin condition that like only pirates had because they didn't have access to vitamin D. When Sam went to college, I had saved up a good amount of money for both of them. But when you divide it by half, it is not enough to gradu graduate debt free. <laughs> L plus ratio, America. I'll be back soon, by the way. Just, I just didn't go to college though, so okay. Sorry, loaded. Trent asked Sam to take his share of the, f this is like uh, one of those math questions. If Trent takes a 45% uh, portion of Sam's well-earned money, Trent asked Sam to take his share of the fund and to use it so that he could graduate debt-free. Cute, sweet. Sam promised to return the money to Trent. True to his word, Sam slowly saved up enough to repay his brother, and so did I. Trent ended up getting a scholarship and did not use much of the money we saved up. Thankfully, we didn't have to pay for Trent because it's a fake name and he doesn't exist. He's a metaphor in my brain for student loans. Put it in a savings account in Trent's name for future use. I have recently gotten engaged to Elizabeth, the queen. Good call. That will probably wrap up your debt pretty smoothly, I'd say. Who has a 16-year-old son, Will. Elizabeth suggested that I could use the money Trent was not using to pay for Will's college. I don't even need to wrap it up, kid. Where's Miles? There he is. Jesus, that's, that's so much more aggressive than I thought it would be. I'm sorry, Miles. I wonder if you felt that in real life. Clip of Miles in pain. Do it. Go. Oh. Not the asshole, right? Am I nuts? This seems the most straightforward one possible. Ooh, surprise, you just got hacked. Ugh. 
worse. See, that's what happens to anybody that's trying to access my data. If it isn't the inside of your computer, nice to meet you. Who's that? Who am I? Well, it's your boy, The Matrix. And I've broken into your flipping computer and I'm looking at all your data. I'm eating up little pieces of your data. Mmm, doesn't taste very good and I'm going to tell everyone it doesn't. See, this is my internet. Nice and robust, tough as it gets. However, this is your internet with no VPN protection. Ah, There's some, uh, some strong paper, but it, the analogy still applies. Also, oh, I needed this. Do you want to prevent me from accessing your data myself or any other sneaky hacker? Well, you can, with the help of ExpressVPN. Oh, it's ExpressVPN. Look at that. What's that? The show you like is not available on your domestic Netflix? Well... <laughs> Nice try, the the, the internet. Because I can use ExpressVPN to hop over to a new server in 94 different countries. Certain shows on those streaming platforms not available. They bloody are now, mate. I myself recently used ExpressVPN to access UK Netflix and watch every single episode of Better Call Saul. Yes, this is a flex. I am what is medically known as extremely online. And as a result, I need my security. I need my safety as I'm, I'm you know, gaming. I'm often gaming out. What can I say? Any gamers in the in the zone? Bloody guilty. And it is a genuine concern that your data could be nabbed by a sus individual. A robot. It could you could get hacked by just a regular vanilla robot. Do you really want that to happen? Well, if not, head over to <laughs> what am I doing? If not, head over to expressvpn.com slash adika for three months. Three free months. Free! When you sign up, that free is like, and that's like the opposite of money. Genuinely, all the memes aside, get rid of the backdrop. It's just you, me, and a green screen. It is an excellent service that I've used for a long time. Super convenient. I have it on all my devices. Silky smooth makes me feel uh, confident and good and makes my uh, immigrant lifestyle significantly easier. I'll be quite frank with you. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you, consumer viewer, Wolfpack member, for using your beautiful Wolfpack wings to sweep on down to expressvpn.com slash adika. A-D-I-K-A, almost forgot my name. But I'll tell you one thing I'll never forget. ExpressVPN. <laughs> Back to whatever stupid thing I'm doing. I wanna find one that says that they are the asshole. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, you don't think you are, do you? Am I the asshole for exploiting, um, so-called exploiting my daughter? Am I the asshole for robbing a bank and quote, shooting the bank teller with a so-called rifle? <laughs> Okay, the woke mob strikes again. My daughter and son both have chores around the house. I just assigned them based on how I grew up. What? My son, 14 M. Mm. Damn, that means he's 14 meters tall. Holy shit. Mows the lawn, takes out the trash, shovels snow with his dad. Oh, they live somewhere that gets snow. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's one of those. You know, which, you know what I mean. Canada, AKA where Miles is from. Show Miles feeling pain. Uh, why? My daughter, 16 feet tall, 16F, sets the table before meals, helps me cook and, cook and folds laundry with me. A woman's lot. This year, my son refused to go to do home economics at school, even though it fit his schedule. Wait, what? Even though it fits his schedule the best and lets him do gym and computer course he wanted to do, because he says he doesn't know how to do any of that. I realized I've been signing based on gender roles. Yeah, no shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm 16 years into this and I'm... Something's going on here. I dress my my daughter in a big pink frilly frock and I, she wears a tiara. I'm suddenly starting to realize that that might be gendered in some way. Whereas the son wears blue salt of the earth oh, denim overalls and I've, I've, I've taught him to speak in a southern drawl. And now my son doesn't know how to cook and my daughter doesn't know how to mow the lawn. You can probably figure that one out. Right? Lawnmower, essential part of the transaction. Kind of move it around, move it sort of on stuff, right? And then there's, gra there's less of it. Big life hack. Don't do it indoors or on anyone. Problem solved. So told them that we would swap their chores for the year and doubled their allowance. Doubled their allowance? What is this weird financial transactional relationship you have? My son is learning to cook and my daughter is spending more time on the lawnmower. <laughs> 
<laughs> be so good. Spending more time with her father, but how good would it be if everything she now does is lawnmower oriented? She's spending more time cooking the lawnmower into meals, except my in-laws are upset because they saw my daughter mowing the lawn. They complain that we were exploiting her, but Jesus, by making her do hard manual labor after I explained what we were doing. They've seen my son mow the lawn at least a dozen times and never had a problem. Oh, this, this sucks, this is sad. This is a bummer, I'm annoyed, I'm mad. I never had a problem with it even though he is younger. Oh, he's younger. He's younger and yet he's 14 meters tall. Uh, or maybe they mean 14 millimeters. This, this much. You also worry that she will get too muscular, no such thing, pal. From all the manual labor and won't be as attractive, no such thing, pal. I told them that they are my kids and to buzz it. Hey, <laughs> hey, pal. Yeah, dude, this is definitely Canada. There's no way that they'd say that. Screw off, or something like that. Whereas the, the Canadians are like, hey, pal, you better, uh, oh, you're really, you're really doing, you're really peeing me, oh, you better buzz off, buzz it. Not even buzz off, you better buzz it. The lawn, they mean, with the lawnmower. But they keep texting my husband, who is <laughs> telling me to let the kids do their chores. They are doing their chores, but tell them not to do it around their grandparents and lie about it if they say anything to get them off their their back. I think it's ridiculous and they shouldn't have to lie about the chores when asked. But Aita, Avatar, the last airbender here? Beep boop, I mean not the asshole. Absolutely nutter. Cut to Miles feeling pain. Of course you're not the asshole. Relax, man. Fine, everything's Gucci, man. I want something spicy. Can I look at the tags of like big butthole or something? Oh, not enough info. Interesting. Now that is an exciting tag. How much attention did this this damn thing get? Everyone sucks. Ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh, I do like it when everyone in the world is miserable. Am I the asshole for getting mad at my husband for buying school supplies? <laughs> That's not a good sign. That's not a that's not a good indicator at all. I might be able to make my judgment right now. My son is going into the first grade, and me being the sentimental person that I am, I was excited to take him to school to I, my brain. My wife. I've been rejuvenated. I was excited to take him to buy school supplies because he's still little and new to school. I, yeah, first grade, I, I could have cracked the code on that one. I know that it's getting close to the time school is going to start, but I've been telling my husband for the past two weeks, let's take our son to get the school supplies. He keeps telling me, no, let's wait a while. Oh, he wants the nice fresh pencils. He doesn't want them to, to degrade over the course of a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get a little book which has all the new numbers on it. I don't want it to be out of date by the time we get there. So today, after he picked the kids up from daycare, I called him to see where he was and he tells me that he's getting some school supplies. I got really mad at him and tell him I really wanted to be there for that. He knows that I'm a sentimental type of person. We've been together 10 years, so he knows. He says he was just grabbing some stuff while he was already at the store. He got so mad at me when I was trying to explain why I was upset that he said you didn't want to hear me explain my reasoning anymore and hung up on me. So am I the asshole for getting mad at him? Hey, guess what? I'm glad that we dove into the uh, tumultuous rivers of controversy because wrong. Nope. This was a person expressing something they genuinely cared about to the tolerance of their partner. The partner did not say, hey, that's stupid and I disagree, let's talk about it. They acknowledged that, that they're a sentimental person, they care about that. It's a couple, there's compromise, there's kindness that can be shown, whatever. And then they made the conscious effort to not tell them and to then treat them like shit when they expressed a very valid feeling. Miles, I'm sorry to have to do it to you, but we we smack harder when somebody's the asshole. I've destroyed the entire city of... Uh, Toronto? The one from Scott Pilgrim, maybe. Easy da asshole. Am I, not, am I... Have I gone sicko mode? This seems so clear to me. What are people saying? Why are you saying that? What, what the fuck do you know? Oh, as a, as a sentimental mother. Oh, that's the class you chose, is it? I started as a ranger, but then multi-classed as a sentimental mother. If you look at the skill tree, you'll see that school supply sentimentality is not one of the available skills. Oh, I'm a uni. Right? Oh, but what? Uh, I'm going to uni. I'm going to learn something. I'm going to learn something with minimal student loans. Can I order these by, uh, hot? Who's the hottest asshole? I think asshole would like- <laughs> Oh my god! Am I the asshole for telling my mother-in-law she can go shop for <laughs> ass? I, 29 meters, recently got married to the love of my life, 28 feet. She has how many? If you're not gonna do it, I'll do it. We started dating around five years ago. When I, when I was only 24 feet. Meters, shit. When I was only 24 meters. We started dating around five years ago and I finally decided to propose to her in 2020. She said yes. 
However, due to COVID, we called the wedding off. What, completely? Oh, I see. Oh, they, they remained engaged. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought they just, uh, one of them decided to marry the novel coronavirus. In January of this year, we got married. Now, don't get me wrong. I love her parents. They're sweet and we have a great relationship. Now, does that mean they shouldn't shove their food up their ass? Hmm, sounds like an interesting relationship. However, today something in me just snapped. To set the scene, I woke up at eight. We are staying at her parents' house for vacation and so we can spend more time together. Okay, that's not my illiteracy. That's a weird sentence, okay? Leave me alone or I'll shove you in the nook. Not that it does anything. This morning when I woke up, mother-in-law was in the kitchen cooking breakfast. Ooh, I'm already seething. Ooh, I can smell the heat, the rage, the pancakes of fury. It was pancakes, eggs, bacon, and her husband. Oh no! Well, I, yeah, I'd be mad too! You know, this, this old broad done cooked her husband. Her husband was making homemade orange juice. With the oranges, they had grown themselves. This sounds divine. <laughs> How does everyone suck? This sounds incredible. I'll be honest, it smelled amazing. My wife was still asleep. <laughs> first come, first served, idiot. My wife was still asleep. I let my wife sleep until she decides to wake up. But that's everyone in the world, isn't it? That's Hmm. That's everybody that's ever woken up for any reason. That's a person in a coma. Till they decide to wake up, I guess. Do you decide to wake up? I feel like it's really not my decision to make in the end. When mother-in-law noticed I was awake, she asked where my wife was. Wait. My wife! The fuck am I doing? She asked where my wife was. I told her she was still sleeping and she would probably be up in a few minutes. Mother-in-law told me I shouldn't be letting her sleep in and it's my responsibility to wake her up every morning I wake up. Every morning I wake up. Every day I wake up! Bang. I told her that I do not believe that that's my decision to make in the end. She snapped him and told me I needed to go back upstairs immediately and wake my wife up because breakfast was almost done and if she didn't get up soon, she would miss out on... I don't even want to say that. Average, you have to dub this because I don't want to say it and you are under our employ. <laughs> she would miss out on her... Mommy's special homemade creamy mommy milk voluptuous breakfast. Apparently my wife overheard our conversation and came downstairs. L problem literally completely resolved. Asking what was going on. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <gasps> Mama, is that mo... I'm not saying it. Even for a joke, I'm not saying it. Before I could say anything, mother-in-law told her I was my wife sleep in which was incredibly unhealthy, but that if I let her sleep in now, she was gonna miss, okay, she said a homemade breakfast made by her mother, that's fine. A simple restructuring of the phrase. Problem solved, okay? That was, see, that was an easy escape. I said that she can take her food and shove it up her ass, and that my breakfast, <laughs> and that my wife, my wife, <laughs> should be able to sleep in when she wants to, and it's not mine nor her mother's decision. I just, I am just blown away by that. To make what time she actually gets up in the morning. She gasped and looked at me like I saw a ghost telling me to get the fuck out of her home. Girl boss moment. My wife, however, sided with me and had my back. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, in that case, you, what are you even angry about? I mean, aside from correctly calling her out. I, d I cannot believe I landed on the side of the Sith on this one, dude. I am absolutely siding with uh, the 29 meter tall boy. My wife, however, sided with me and had my back, resulting in both of us getting kicked out of her parents' home. We're currently driving home, <laughs> writing a post in one hand while I swerve drunkenly left and right on the highway. Uh, and it's a 20 hours drive, good lord. We're staying in a hotel temporarily. Well, yeah, that would, that's what it is, isn't it? A hotel. Well, technically everywhere we stay is uh, temporary because we all die. And we all die alone, even when we're surrounded by loved ones. Eventually the Grim Reaper comes for us and we sink into a, an endless abyss alone. And there is no afterlife, so. My wife. <laughs> My wife is pissed at her mom, but says my reaction was a bit over the top. So, Aita? That's, um, that's, a, that's Italian for scusi. It's the alternative to scusi, mi scusi. Major update. This morning when I woke up, my, my wife was a giant pancake. I oh, don't know. Disappointing. Was ready to leave. Was already ready to leave. Before I got ready, I texted it. Why start it now? Dude, start that earlier. Oh, I bet the comments were like, hey, this is strange. <laughs> Stop doing this. <laughs> please fix, please fix yourself. I texted mother-in-law an apology. This was hours ago. She responded about 20 minutes ago saying that it was fine that she understands, but thinks I was definitely in the wrong still. She still believes I should be waking up my wife in the morning. Let this thing go. <laughs> 
let this component of it go. Just, just, just apologize for getting argumentative and contentious and, and rude. Do not dwell on a, a third party sleeping schedule. Not even you. Two other adults. She still believes I should be waking my wife up in the mornings, but I will still not be doing so. She also apologized how she reacted. Bar bar blue bar bar black sheep. I am really bored. I am easy. I don't even need to slam the damn. I'm asleep from how easy that one was. Big asshole moment to the to the mill. Am I right? Am I wild? That feels like a pretty tame reaction, to be completely honest. Because it's probably just like, ah, you can shove it up your ass, you know, and you know, and fucking whatever. I'd say if you weren't throwing it at a, uh, I'll say it, a boomer, you probably would have got a more generous reaction. And with that big, big edgy statement, I'll love you and leave you. Hey, first of all, let's just talk about what's on everybody's mind. Where you can catch these streams live. TV slash Jordan Adika. And if you'd like to see more videos, do the, you know... Look, you've seen YouTube videos, yeah? You know the protocol. You write something really cool down in the comment section, and I definitely will read it. Don't even worry about that, especially if it's been more than 24 hours since the video came up. I am, I am reading that. And also hit it with a like, that actually does matter, because, I don't know, makes me feel good, makes sponsors excited, makes you live longer, has a very positive effect on the vitamin count in your body. And also, don't forget, <laughs> That you're in the wolf pack. A woo, mommy in law. <laughs> a, w a woo to all the mills out there. Don't ever give up and shove your food up your ass. You can put all this in as the post credits for the video.